guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniela and if you're new here, I make up cycling videos and also some basic tutorials for sewing. In this video, we will be seeing how did I make this layered dress with open back. And for this tutorial, you will be needing the basic bodice. I will add the link of my basic bodice tutorial in the description box below. Also, it will pop up here. So make sure you watch it before you continue with this video. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now, without any further delay, let's get into the video. So we have our basic bodice that I have drawn till the waistline. I have not drawn the armholes and the neckline we will change. So for the neckline, what I will do is I will measure three and a half inch from the top and mark a point. Now on this point, I will draw a line of three inches, make it a little curve very little curve like this then mark one inch below your upper bust line here and then now you have to join these two points together like this this is going to be your halter neck neckline we will be adding straps on the halter neck but no need to measure that now i will come one inch below my bust line and then mark a point there now mark a point at one inch from the dart line. Then I have marked half half inch on both the sides of the point and join these two points like this. This is going to be the bust dart. We have added this dart so that we will get a perfect fitting. Then go ahead and cut the pieces. This is just for the front. Our back is going to be backless. Now I have cut the pieces of the main fabric and also of the lining fabric. And then I'm going to put them right sides facing each other. Add the straps which I have created at the corner of the halter neck and then just pin the pieces together and go ahead and stitch it. Once you have stitched it, it will look like this. We have not stitched the sides. Now we will go ahead and trace the darts because we need to also stitch the darts. So I will just go ahead and trace them. Stitch the darts of the main fabric and of the lining fabric separately don't stitch them together you will know why in some time once you have added the darts we need to add the loops on the sides so i have created straps of three inches and i will be placing them like this on each side i will have three loops okay one at the very top one just above the dart and one at the bottom the bottom one should not be at the very bottom because it will go in seam allowance when we will attach the bottom part to it you can see i have kept it one inch above the bottom part for the layered skirt we will first cut the lining i have kept the fabric on fold as you can see and the part where it is fold we will be doing the markings so this is the folded side and what I will be doing here is I will mark here a circle with waist divided by 3.14 inches. Okay, so whatever measurement you get, I get it as 7.9. So I will do the marking at 7.7. .7. Okay, just go ahead and do that marking. And then you have to form a circle here. The lining will not be layered only the main fabric is going to have layers so you can see i have kept the starting point as it is and i'm just moving the tape and i have formed a circle by joining all the points and you have to also do it for the length that you want so form similar circle at the bottom according to the length that you prefer once you have done it your lining fabric will look something like this then I have cut these three rectangles. I have mentioned the measurements of them on the screen. I will show you how to stitch them on these sample pieces. So this is the front bodice. Then this is the first layer, second layer and the third layer. To attach them, you have to form gathers, okay, like this. And then similarly, you have to also do it on the top part of the other layers. Okay, I will be showing you that. Also on the bottom layer, 
after forming the gathers the length should be same as the above layer so i'm just marking where do you want to form gathers okay now once you have formed the gathers it will look like this so you will have something like this so you have to attach the topmost layer to the bodice so make sure after forming gathers the length should be similar as that of the bodice and similarly for the other layers as well so when you are attaching the bottom layer to the top layer after forming the gathers the length of the bottom layer should be same as the length of the top layer so you will be keeping them like this and then stitch them don't stitch the top layer to the bodice because we will be doing that later so for now only stitch the layers once you have stitched the layers they will look something like this so i have both the layers here which i have stitched together then keep the layers right sides facing each other like this and we will be stitching on one side the other side we will be adding a zip so don't stitch that stitch only one side after stitching the sides it will look like this now we will go ahead and attach the lining fabric this time while attaching the lining fabric you have to keep the wrong sides facing each other we always keep the right sides facing each other but this time you will be keeping the wrong sides facing each other because we do not want finishing here we still want to attach the bodice to the layers so we do not want the finishing to be done on the layers on the top of the layer okay so just go ahead and pin the pieces and then take it to the sewing machine and stitch the lining fabric with the layers with the main fabric now to attach the bodice what we will do is we will find out the midpoint of the bodice by folding it into two halves whatever is the middle point i am going to mark that point you need to mark this point on the lining fabric because while stitching you will be seeing the lining fabric since we will be keeping the right sides facing each other you need to also mark the midpoint of the front part of the layers okay so you have the front and the back part so you need to find the midpoint of the front part our back is going to be backless so no worry about that but mark the midpoint of the front part or front skirt then you have to match or align these two points together while stitching so you need to keep the pieces exactly the same way i have kept it and then flip it so while stitching you have to make sure that your right sides are facing each other and then just go ahead and pin it remember the seam allowance that you have taken take the exact seam allowance while stitching so once you have pinned it it will look like this always flip the fabric to see how it will look after stitching so once you have stitched it it will look like this then the only thing that is remaining is the finishing of the bottom layer and also the lining fabric so for that you need to fold the fabric twice like this okay and pin it do it for the entire bottom part and then just go ahead and stitch it okay so this is how the dress will look like you can see i have taken this strap which goes through these two loops and then there is a cross and it is coming here and coming out from this particular loop okay similarly the other one it goes to a different side so this side is coming on this side and then going through these loops and then coming out from this one also if your waist is not properly fitted you can add elastic here and also do the finishing